Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Because, bitch, it was a journey. I've never struggled the way I have struggled this week to get an episode out. I mean, I've struggled before, but I personally, you know, with equipment and shit. This week was a personal because a bitch came down with an ear infection. Uh, so for anybody who followed me on social media, which you all should, if you ain't, go ahead and go to NicoleCocoPatrice.com. And all of my social medias is right there. You should see the symbols for me. If you're too old to know what the symbols is, don't even fucking bother, okay? Just send me a goddamn email or a raven, okay? Because you should know what the fuck Twitter looked like, the little bird, and the TikTok T, okay? TikTok T. And the Facebook F. And Instagram camera, okay? So if you don't know that shit, I don't know if I can tell you because I had too many motherfuckers hit me back. I don't see where your social media at. Motherfucker, because your ass just needs to send me emails, okay? So sign up for my email list. Um, I don't really send a whole lot of emails, though, so I got to work on that. It'd be a lot of shit going on, okay? I got too much. I'm living my life. I'm living. Uh, that was the theme. So let me get back. I'm all over the place. So that was the theme on my trip to the DR that I'm living. Okay, because shit be making you having to remind yourself that you're living, okay? You, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to always go according to plan. But, bitch, you're living. And that's what the fuck I just did. So I got my tea, uh, my honey, lemon, ginger, some shit and peppermint, and my sambucol, okay? And I'm literally chewing on garlic cloves. I got my pineapple tidbits with the pineapple juice because, bitch, I got this cough that's about to pop. My hernia uh, stitches. I had an abdominal hernia from pregnancy, and that shit got stitched up. And, bitch, I'm going to pop. The stitches hurt right now because the bitch been coughing like crazy because it's not COVID. I know how you motherfuckers think. Everybody, you could be motherfucking bleeding out the ass, and somebody won't to hand you a COVID test. Bitch, this shit ain't COVID. Okay? My eyeball fall out. It's not motherfucking COVID. You get stabbed right in front of a nigga and cough one time and the motherfucker be like, you think it's COVID? You should get tested. And then you, you come up negative they're like, well, you would be alright. Get shot right in your motherfucking ass. Nigga, you would be alright. Niggas get shot every day, B. <coughs> That's the cough. That's the cough I was trying not to do on, on the mic, but y'all had to get it. Um, so that's what the pineapple tidbits is for. And the tea and the ginger and the, uh, well, I'm out of ginger. Uh, the tea and the garlic. But let me take a sip of this. And let me tell y'all. So, yes, a bitch came down with an ear infection uh, <laughs> in the DR. And God must have knew I was going to cut the fuck up to give me an ear infection after I done waited so long to get to the motherfucking DR. And then here I am in the middle of the kicking it. In the midst, in the midst of the kicking it, I come down with a motherfucking uh, infection. So I didn't think it was, I, you know, I took COVID test while I was, before we went, I took COVID test uh, as a requirement to go to, well, it wasn't a requirement for travel, it was the, who, the, the people who organized the tour had, you know, recommended it strongly. You know, like, you're strongly advised, okay, that you take a COVID test. I had no problem. So I took it. The shit was negative. I didn't have no symptoms. I didn't have no problems when I went down there. But, ooh, y'all, I'm sorry. Hold on. To the side, I got to do a little nose blowing to the side. I shouldn't even be doing this motherfucking episode, but I know niggas be expecting you to fall off. So yeah, letting you know I'm here. I ain't dead yet. Okay, I'm still alive. So anyway, um, I'd gone out the Wednesday before my flight. My flight was on Friday. Uh, I had took a shower before I went out to go uh, to my stepping class in the end, my Chicago stepping class. And then out to uh, the uh, 
Latinite. So I got in the shower and I didn't think much of it, but a little bit of water went into my ear, my left ear. Ooh, kind of. This shit, I hope y'all y'all ain't getting the, the loudness of the cough. I'm so sorry. Um, so excuse me. So a little bit, this is gonna be, I'm gonna use this every time I gotta sneeze. Like this is my Dominican painting I got. Any excuse. Anyway. So I went to the you know, I got in the shower, I got a little bit of water in my ear, and I didn't think much of it. It just, it was crazy, though, because it went in, it's like, that shit went straight down my ear. Like, I've never had water go in my ear, and it just, go, just decided to go right past my eardrum. So, so I could feel that shit went right beyond my eardrum immediately into my inner ear. So I said, okay, maybe it'll dry up, you know, whatever, whatever. I felt it uncomfortably there for the rest of the night. I stay till like two in the morning. It's ASMR today. Y'all getting all the newspaper crickling, coughs and sneezes, and smacks on the pineapple. It is what it is. So I get down there. I dance. I feel like it went away. I come back home. I don't feel it no more. I don't think nothing of it no more. Here I'm packing for the next few days doing my errands, getting my spa treatment, go to uh the airport, get on my flight. Now, you know, you always had that air compression in the um cabin when they, you know, uh, heighten the pressure to stabilize the air pressure. And so your ears pop. That shit was normal. But one thing I noticed is, like, it, it didn't unpop right away. Like, usually I can, like, yawn or swallow and then go away. So eventually it did, and I think I was cool. But then, of course, I was probably dehydrated too. I drank a bunch of Jameson and Brugal. It was like day three, day four, we was down there. And I feel a chill coming out. I was a fuck. Headache. I felt sluggish. My body felt you know, tired and achy. I said, no, you're not getting sick, bitch. So I couldn't figure out what the fuck it was. I took another COVID test. Shit was negative. I wasn't really, I didn't really have a fever. Like, I felt hot. But I don't think I had no fever. Uh, I took, a, um, but I mean, I ain't taking my temperature today. I took a hot bath, took some oregano oil, oil tablets, but I ain't bringing enough down there. I was taking them one every day and I only brought like four or five with me. As a preventative thing. But then day, day motherfucking four, we full on sick. And I'm out of oregano oil. I ain't think nobody else had no oregano oil on them. And I definitely was like, I know I ain't finna find nothing down here. Um, and we ain't really had that kind of time to be looking around, you know, pharmacies and shit, help the herb, you know, herbal remedy stores and shit. So I take my bath, I get up, I take some ibuprofen, I go out, we party, I felt a little bit better. Then the next day, you know, and everybody took my oregano oil, so I felt a little bit better. Then the next day, I ain't had no oregano oil, and then that shit started creeping up on me again. I'm like, what the fuck? We went down to the, uh, so we drove to Bonnell, like, two days later, and down to the river. My ass, like, what the fuck? I was sick again later that night. Trying to eat dinner. I couldn't even eat. Like, it was just terrible. One of the girls had some more um, oregano oil tablets. I took over two of them bitches. And then the next day she offered me, she let me have some more. And I was sweating that shit out at night. And I ne it never dawned on me. I'm like, what is really wrong? I'm thinking maybe the water got in my mouth when we was at the, the, in the Caribbean. And I'm like, that's between that's water. Like, what the fuck? I couldn't, and it wasn't a lot. It was just a little splash. I was like, did the food get me sick? Did I catch the flu? I ain't know what. So I just assumed, like, I got the, I got a cold or flu. So, I end up going home on the plane, and that's when it dawned on me. I was like, bitch, you got an ear. 
that shit got pushed back into your ear because it was like now my left eye, everything was on my left side from where that ear had got water in it. All this side of my face was like what well, like swelling. I could feel my eye getting pushed like forward. Like literally you could visibly see when I got by the time I got home back to Chicago off the plane, my whole eye was like pushed forward. Cause all that shit was clogged up. So that air, that compression and shit was pushing that shit further and further in. And the mucus and shit was coming out of my eye by that night. It was so disgusting. I'm sure this is not what y'all told me. But this is all right here. Why the fuck the podcast late? Because, bitch, I was dying. My ears were literally clogged up for two days. I couldn't hear. My right ear still a little clogged up. My left ear, I finally blew the ear out. And I put some drops in there. Khalees got them motherfucking bouncy, uh, beauty, turmeric and rose hip drops. I squeezed a little bit of oregano oil in there. I dropped some bitches in my ear, uh, mostly on this side. So I think that's why this ear cleared up. And now this ear kind of fucking clogged up because the shit moved over a little bit. My big ass all pussy and shit. I still got congestion. I still got a fucking sore throat. I've been coughing like a dog. I need my voice back because I got a fucking gig next week. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll I be all right. I'll be taking my little natural remedies. I'll be all right. But that's to say, y'all. God knew I was going to cut up down in the DR. He had to stop me. He's like, bitch, you want to be down here having orgies and shit. Let me calm you down. I wasn't going to have no orgies. Was I? Was I? I don't know. Hit me up. Y'all was there. <laughs> Hit me in the what's that? No, but for real, I didn't know. If, oh, I got this shirt. But y'all watching, I got this shirt from Khalees. Hydrated and fine, bitch. Hydrated and fine, black woman. You know it. Um, so yeah, drink y'all water, take your oregano oil pills, wherever the fuck you go, take sufficient. Don't be underestimating that motherfucking cabin pressure and shit. That one little drop of water in my ear had me fucked up. Alright, we got a pan up. So yes, DR was lit. I'm eating whole garlic. I'm going to abuela the shit out of this motherfucker. Okay, whatever the fuck it is. I'm going to abuela the fuck out of it. Because all I'm going to do is go to the doctor what they going to fucking tell me. They going to tell me I need antibiotics. What this is it right here? Antibiotics. Motherfucking oregano oil, antibiotics. Okay, I'm going to take my motherfucking probiotics, balance that shit out. They ain't going to tell you that. These doctors can't trust the motherfucker. They ain't going to tell you you need to balance your fucking biotics back after you've been killed your good biotics. Excuse me. Garlic. So yes. I'll get that and some garlic in the too. So yes. I'm trying I'm struggling through this motherfucking episode. So let me get to the point. So dang now. All right, here we go. So yes, a bitch had a a bitch had a good time, and I think God wanted to make sure I didn't have too good. Okay, because I was down there with my red hair, baby. You know what I'm saying? I was speaking Spanish, baby. I was putting my little five bachata moves on these motherfuckers. Okay, you know, I just started dancing in April, so this is my first like. Actual taking dance class. I've never taken no dance class. I literally just been learning from following and socials and a YouTube video like tutorial here and there. Um, but I just be feeling the music and I just be, you know, what I'm saying following whoever is leading me. So this was interesting because it was very heavy in workshop, which I enjoyed. Um, I learned from some people straight from the island. Um. So that was great. Um, we did a lot of going out, which I missed a couple nights because I wasn't feeling well, which I kind of regret. But I feel like God was keeping me from some shit <laughs> that I was probably not trying to be involved in, or you know, would have regretted, or just you know, God was keeping me. That's what that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, God makes no mistakes. He knew that that little drop in that ear was gonna save me from some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Anchor baby or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come here, Poppy. Let me go. 
¿dónde está tu papá? Yo regreso al, a la República Dominicana. Él regresó a la isla y me dejó. Y nos dejamos solos. That was gonna be me. So, I was like, no. But no, so we had a good time. Shout out to Alex and Desiree. A and D, DR State. And all the lovely ladies on the strip. Too many names, but right now. Well, I met um a couple cool ass girls. Um, shout out to Brittany and Josette. We actually it was so ironic because these were the first girls I started talking to once we got to the villa. So we flew into uh Santa Domingo. We ended up um staying in the villa in Guayacanes. Um it's like a compound. It was kind of rough. It wasn't no hot water, but we bitched them them Gary Indiana p- poverty homeless skills kicked in. I was like, bitch, let's put a pot on the stove. Got our little cup, mix it with the motherfucking shower water. Spray, 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 splash, splash, splash. We taking a bath. Um, so that cold water was was a bitch. But you know, it was cool. Um, because we got to all stay in the compound. So it was like a family type dynamic. We would go to the main villa for dinner. We took some beautiful photos. It was very beautiful grounds. Um, and, you know, the flowers and trees and pool and everything. Uh Every individual unit had a little pool. It was kind of too cold, though, to get in the pool. Like, it was like the low temp for the night was like in the 70s. Like, it wasn't even hot during the day. It was like literally like all day it was like 75 degrees. Um, and so, yeah, we went. I mean, this was in January. Um, so we went from Guayacanes to Las Serenas. Las Serenas was a very nice apartment style, Richera. La Richiara Hotel, or Hotel La Richiara, I think it was. Very nice um, apartment style hotel. I had a jacuzzi in my room, nice view of the beach, and like the little street where like they was kicking it at the liquor store, baby. The music was bumping. So I'm all over the place. I wanted to talk about like the things I learned in DR, baby. First of all, you're not going to get away from Bajata. That shit everywhere. They playing it everywhere. Wherever you go, somebody b- blasting that shit. Um, everywhere, all day, all night. I'm like, do these motherfuckers sleep? The rooster. Who that garlic is? Spicy. He's dead talking. The roosters in Guayacanes was off the chain. Waking you up and shit. That was cool. That reminded me when I was saying um, over East and shit in Chicago. Uh, when you was when you by the Mexican, Mexican by East Side. They got roots. You gonna hear them every day. Um. So yeah, it was cool, you know. Um, and then the uh. So yeah, you're gonna have bachata everywhere. Salsa, dembo, Dominican dembo is lit. Um, I learned a lot about how you can use some of your bachata dance moves to to the dembo, and you can like do fusion. We learned that with um body fail that was lit. Um, Ana Saldana when we went to um Bonao. She showed us some other little cool footwork and shit. That was it. Um, Becerada taught us in Las Serenas. That was super lit. Um, I think it was Reynaldo and another guy. Sorry to his name. But that was super lit. We took some really cool classes. So I got some little footwork stuff in there. But bitch, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm from Chicago. We do footwork. Like, the fuck? So, like, you know, y'all showing me this. But, like, bitch, we been doing this shit. It's not, it's not so much out there. <laughs> We not doing it through bachata. We just doing that shit to, you know, bounce and break your back, okay? Um, so that was cool. The workshop, I had a little list, but bitch, you know, I don't know. So where we at? Um, dancing. We talking about dancing. So, yeah, that shit was cool. Um, they love to dance. They all over the island doing it. Um, they kept asking us where the best dance is at, like Bonal, Las Arenas, or um, Santo Domingo. But we didn't do no dance over there in Santo Domingo. It was Las Arenas, Bonal, mostly. And I would say, like, between Las Arenas and Bonal, um, 
I like the Bonell dancing. I mean, it was like cool. Like they was more laid back. They didn't they didn't they didn't seem like as like pretentious like some of the well we went to a bate and uh was that why I don't know. So we went to a bate closest to Santo Domingo and it was cool. Um but it was like it was weird because I went around and asked like these guys on a on a salsa song. I think um Toyotas or something. I was like I wanted to get a salsa in and it had just started kinda so it wasn't a whole lot of people there. But I went and asked, like, these guys were, like, staring at me and shit. So I walked up to them, like, hey, you want to dance? And they were like, oh, my God, why are you talking to me? Like, wow, okay, no kidding about that. And I was talking to them in Spanish, so it wasn't like they was, like, confused. Motherfucker, you know exactly what I'm saying. Quiere bailar la salsa. Like, what the fuck? No, no, no. Like, they was acting super bougie, super fuck up. So whatever, fuck you, niggas. Um, niggas gonna be niggas in whatever country you're in, that's for sure. Um, so I don't know. I didn't take it personally. I'm like, maybe I don't know how to dance salsa or whatever. Uh. And so that was like to me like the only thing was like it was just like they wasn't really trying to do it. Like only like the same two niggas like asking me. And I ended up dancing mostly with the girls in, in our group, which was cool. Um, but that ain't what I came for, okay? You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get a little motherfucking um let me stop. <laughs> I was trying to get a little polio on me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Give me some of that carne. What the fuck? Um, so, yeah, I, that was cool, though. So, the dancing, I felt like it was cool. It was better at the river in Bonau. Um, I had a good time there. And the club uh, also in Bonau. Uh, so, we went to the Rio Sula and shit. That shit was lit. Um, and dance. They be dancing literally in the river. Um, that shit cool. They eat and, li- and they, like, eating and drinking and hookah and all that shit. In the back of the river. It's, it's super fun. I can imagine when it's really hot. Um, so I would love to go back again when it's like hot, hot. But yeah, um, we went to Isla Saona. Um, the beaches there were great, beautiful blue water. It was nice and sunny. The food there kind of sucked though, cause it was like super salty. Um, shout out to Lucy, Lucy and um, um, Alex's mom, uh, Maria. They were like, I was sitting with them while I was eating. They were like playing salsa the whole time. Whack. I was like, it ain't just me. Lucy was cooking. Lucy was cooking us the fuck up. Shout out to Lucy. Um, we had like, and then they call it La Bandera. So it's like, um, I think it was one of the first nights we were there. It was like, it's the rice, arroz with the uh, habichuelas negras with the uh, black beans. And then the um, chicken stew. So I think that's uh, pollo grisado. That was fire. Um, we had, um, of course, we had like lots of. Um, damn, is that the mofongo? Shit, well, I don't know what this shit called, y'all. Come on now, I need pictures next to the food. Hold on, I'm about to figure this out right now. But yeah, we was eating bitch. Um, And I don't want motherfuckers to see me and be like, bitch, you fucked that shit up. You don't want to see that shit up. Well, phone call is silly. What the fuck I made that in? Oh. But it's the damn um, plantains with the savoya. And I don't know why I said people were Mangu. Mangu. Right? The mangu was fire. I really kind of liked it. I had some bad mangu back in the day. So that's what we're going to listen to. But it was fucking good. We had some cocho at the beach. The uh, meat stew. That shit was super fucking good. Had me sweating on the motherfucking inside. Um, Abichuelas, huisados was so good. Mangu was good. Uh, we had plenty of mango. Um, we had some risotto. No, we had some. Uh, what else we have? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we had the fucking plantains with the um, 
the fried plantains with the rice and beans and the chicken risado, the pollo risado, sweet chicken, that shit was super fire for lunch a couple times. Uh, the sancocho we had on the last day was so delicious. Um, the breakfast with the, oh my God, queso frito. Queso frito, fried cheese, bitch. I never knew I needed it in my life. It was so good. That's probably what had me fucked up, too, because I, I don't even eat cheese like that. So I know that shit got plenty of mucus up in it. But it was so good. I was drinking and eating all the shit I should never have. It. Salami. I was eating the pork, bitch. I was just like, look, when you're in Dominicana, in the Republica Dominicana, you got to fucking do what the Republica Dominicana is doing, okay? <laughs> the Dominicans do, okay? And I was eating that shit. Uh, so los tres golpes, the three strikes. That's the sauteed uh, red onions with vinegar, with the mashed plantains, which is a mango, and the uh, eggs. We have scrambled eggs instead of fried. And then the salami and the queso frito. So fucking good. Um, uh, What else we had? Um, so yeah, plenty of uh good breakfast. We had a um great breakfast at um, you know, we can have more American style breakfast. We went to Aluchara uh, Hotel, Hotel Aluchara, and they had um, you know, you could go to the window and ask the lady like to make you um, you know, your pancakes or your eggs or however you like them. And like you have a little buffet with the fruit. Um, and then you're like looking over the the um ocean um out the window while you're eating is great coffee was great um you know i had a cup of tea that day i was sick but it was good uh, pollo gusado was fucking on point with a ensalada verde we had plenty of ensalada and um you know especially when we were in um las Cardenas. um tostones is the fried plantains was very good um Oh, and then our final meal was so good. Um, our final meal, well, we before we went to the airport and we were in shit. What is it? Um, shit. It's not until the time. But we had red snapper and uh, fried. It was so good, battered like the red snapper, like the whole thing. With the tostones or fries and like avocado, it was so fucking good. Um, damn, where we at? Something Boca. I think it was Boca. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Y'all getting all the sounds, baby. I'm charging for this ASMR video. But yeah, that was so good. Um, so yeah, I can't think of the town. I'm not gonna waste that. So yeah, the beaches were lit. Um, we took a speedboat back from La Sauna back to the mainland, which was very fun. I've never been on a speedboat. Um, and then we did like the catamaran. They were kicking it with the music. It was lit. Um, these nails got me fucked up. Can't do shit with them. Anyway, so yeah, that was lit. Another thing about the art that definitely caught me aback, took me aback. Bitch, the driving, they crazy. Like, it's, okay, they got, I guess they got laws and rules of the road, but the only two signs, three signs I think I ever saw was Despacio, which is slow down, and it'd be a speed bump because you, you got to slow down. Um, And un via y doble via, one way or two way. That was it. Them the only signs I seen. So, like, no stop signs. No yield, no do not enter, no, you know what I'm saying, nothing else. No, no fucking um, semaphoros, what do you call them? Street lights, uh, traffic lights. There's no green light, red light, yellow light. Them, no stop signs. It, you a pedestrian, you better hurry up and get the fuck out their way. Like, it's the lines on the ground that are telling them to stop. But, like, everybody wasn't stopping at them bitches. They were just rolling through this shit. I don't think they have traffic police. Like, they just out here. And then the speeding and the fucking cutting people off 
the bus driver was off the chain, especially that last day. He was trying to get rid of us. Like, he was like, ur, 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 going up the hill, going down the hill, turning the corners like we just in the back of the bus. Like, whoa. You know what I mean? So, that's one thing. Wear your motherfucking seatbelt out there, baby. We saw a crash on the first day, but I ain't seen no more. So, I guess they got that shit under control. Because, baby, they was lit. Um, Everybody on a motherfucking moto, okay? Everybody on a motorcycle. They got the baby. Dead ass. I saw a, a father or a man get on with a fucking infant. Like, the baby couldn't have been no more than four months old. He got in that motherfucking motorcycle right in the front. Ain't nobody got a helmet or shit. Right on the front of the motherfucking moped um, with the baby. The chick get on the back. She got a bag and some other shit in her hand. And they all just wrapped up together and then took the fuck off. Like, this was all day long. Ain't nobody had no motherfucking um, helmets on. Motherfuckers just on the motos, just going. I'm like, this is wild as fuck. So, yeah, the driving will have you a little like, what the fuck is y'all doing out here? Y'all y'all good. They must be good. I ain't gonna worry about it. Um, Yeah, so just be ready for that. Um, The Spanish, okay. I speak Spanish, but I already knew this was gonna have me fucked up. I listened to some, like, ladies talking about, like, Dominican Spanish and shit. And, like, she was trying to, like, really, like, give you, like, the slang and shit. But, bitch, I ain't hear none of that shit she was talking about. I'm like, bitch, what part of the fucking DR was you in? Because, bitch, no. Um, They be talking fast as hell. By the end of the trip, I think my ears finally caught the fuck up. But, like, they be cutting a lot of words short, a lot of fucking phrases short. It's a lot of slang. Um, I learned El Hueso is like, damn. Um, of course, like, Goño, we already been knew that, um, but they use, like, El Hueso more, I think, and then, um, I didn't hear, nobody say that Tivo, like, the girl told me on the fucking podcast, like, bitch, you lied, I want my money back, I ain't pay for it, but I still want my money back, um, so Chivo Chiva, they was not using that, like, we, we did see goats, though, we was looking down the road, and I had my glasses on, I was like, is, the girl was like, is that a dog, I was like, it looks like it. But then it was moving different, like, in legs look weird. I was like, we was both like, bitch, that ain't no dog. And then we got closer. It was like, bitch, just three goats just walking around, chilling. Um, the chickens walk around like they run that bitch. Horses everywhere, cows everywhere. Uh, we see a lot of cats. Um, but dogs everywhere. Dogs just walking up to you. Like, they ain't going to lick you and shit and get all up in your coochie and shit like American dogs do. American dogs will straight violate your ass, motherfucker. Uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they used to have, I ain't going to say that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of them people like their dogs are looking back. Them people, them trained some of them dogs to do that. That's the way they evolved. Evolution, niggas. But these dogs, they just be like, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? They be hitting. They be following you like them niggas do on the red land, trying to see if you gonna give them some spare change. Like you got a chicken bone or something, you know what I'm saying? A little salami on you. You smell like you just ate some shit, bitch. Can I come with you? That's it. They ain't gonna harass you though. They knew. They knew when you give them that little nod, then they go and they leave you alone. Like, all right, bitch, you ain't giving shit. Peace. Peace be unto you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they'll follow you a little bit. Like, can I talk to you about your cars and extended warranty? You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, the dog. I ain't put that on the list. That was a good one. And then, of course, nice transition. The men. No, I'm just playing. The men are not dogs. <laughs> DR. I don't know yet. I ain't get to find out. Because the ear infection, the ear infection stopped me from acting the whole motherfucking fool. No, but um, men are men everywhere. That's the last thing I was like. I mean, I knew that. Though. Um, But, yeah, I mean, you know, you got. I was going to say, like, the men in DR, it's a nice variety. They all got gray skin. I think everybody down there got gray skin. Um, the one thing I was going to say is there was some ugly niggas down there, though. But the women, every, all the women was fucking beautiful. Like, I'm like, damn, y'all all pretty. Like, all of them. You know what I'm saying? It's something down there for everybody. So I see why the men be trying to run down to DR. Because y'all got, y'all got the pickings, baby. Like, they all just beautiful skin, hair, eyes body like was looking good uh some of the men definitely needed a dental plan you know what i'm saying um so you know it was something that i could have worked with and, but you know if they attitude wasn't right then it is what it is but i could have pushed on my dental plan a little nigga you know what i mean it's all good um but yeah and then it was like the young boys be trying to holler like and like i don't know how old i look down there because like y'all too young to be trying to talk to me like 
nigga, what am I going to do with you? But you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Niggas down there might be a little bit mature. You know, you ain't got no fucking driving laws down there. And God only knows what else y'all out here learning how to do wrong early. Child. Anyway. <laughs> that garlic. That garlic working. Um, so yeah, I just um uh, that's my only regret is that I had that ear system and I couldn't be a whole whore. Like I wanted to be I wasn't gonna be perfect. But I was, you know, I was like, okay, if something pop off, you know what I'm saying? Slide into the segment. <laughs> Bitch, what I'm going out of town for if I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? Like, the fuck, nigga? The fuck? Why would I not? Like, y'all niggas know y'all do that shit, too. Y'all go out of town and give a fuck what this nigga talking about. The niggas go out of town and they fucking bitches out of town. Don't let these niggas lie to you. Stella got her groove back and so did Ricky, Bobby, and Mike, okay? All of these motherfuckers is going down there to get their groove back. So, I was definitely trying to, but God was like, hell no, nah, because you don't need no motherfucking Antonio's rolling around, running around and shit. You know what I'm saying? No motherfucking anchor babies and shit trying to get motherfucking green cards for niggas and shit. No, like, no. No. God knew. God did. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. Did I have something else to talk about? That was it, really. It was just my trip to the DI. The art down there was beautiful. I forgot to put that up there. The art was beautiful. Let me show y'all this. I just bought one. I ain't bought no t-shirts. I fu- I fucked up. I bought my daughter a t-shirt. Um, even though she was up here using my makeup and shit without permission. So it's all good. Um, so yeah, I bought one piece of art. I probably should have bought like two or three of those. I'll like, be trying to like reserve my wall space for what reasons? I don't know. Um, and so yeah, the art was very, I'll maybe show a little bit of the video or something where the art are copied. Um, that, you know, uh, video the colors are like so bright um there was like this metal art at the uh, Arichara hotel in las arenas it was so cool like some shit i'd never seen before like they had just like you know beat into some sheet metal it was really dope um there was one like teacher in a one of the uh, places that she got a ticket from and they had um they had like um, wooden, like it was like an aquarium, but it was like wooden fish glued onto like a canvas. That was really dope. Um, I bought a, a bathing suit down there, cover up, which I ended up needing because we did way more beach and river days than I was actually thinking about. So I only packed like three swimsuits, but I definitely needed four or five. Um, so I made it. With my four bathing suits. Bought one. So I had one. Yeah, I brought three. The bikini, the two other ones. Yeah. So yeah, I made it. But yeah, in the future, bitch pack at least one swimsuit for every day you fucking on the trip. Don't fuck don't be like um, and multiple cover-up, unless you got a cover-up that you know you can get away with in multiple days, that ain't gonna get all dirty and funky on you. Um, yeah, and then I went down there on my cycle. Like, God really was trying to keep me under control. What he thought I was gonna do, God? I went down there on my cycle. Like, the heaviest day was on the plane, bro. Like, I was so mad. Oh, I was so mad. I mean... Ladies, y'all know how that shit is. You're literally stuck on a flight as soon as you stand up. Fuck it. And then, then you stand up and these niggas ain't moving. So now that shit just, you know what I'm saying? Now you try to get to the bathroom and you got to do your connected flight. And you in there like fucking Edward Scissorhands and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get this shit together. It's too much. Oh, that was so stressful. But anyway, I made it. And then, yeah, so I, as soon as my cycle was over, then the ear infection kicked in. I was like, what the fuck? So, yeah, I, God knew I was going to be down there cutting up. And that's okay. Like, whatever it is, God, I'm going to work on it, okay? I'm going to work on it. And then can I be a hoe on the next vacation, please? Thank you. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I won't be a hoe on the next vacation if the right nigga takes me on the next vacation. But I don't want a vacation with you niggas because I'll be tired of y'all ass after, like, three days. Like, 
what you gonna do with a nigga? Like, imagine you go on a vacation with a nigga and then three days in, this nigga's like really pissing you off. Like, I just cannot. I just fucking cannot. Um, okay, so other than that, it was some other shit I want to talk about. I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay, here we go. Controversy. I seen some shit where they said, like, if you're a cisgender woman, you can't show your nipples on Instagram or Facebook per a new meta policy. But if you identify as trans or non-binary, you can. So, bitch, I'm not binary. I just want y'all to know if y'all see my titties. I'm not binary as fuck. I am not a woman. I am not a man. I'm just a being with nipples and shit that I'm gonna rub in your face. Okay. What else? Uh <laughs> some bitch don't respond to me because I put that shit under uh motherfucking uh what's her name? I can't think of that girl. Jane, Jane, what's her real name? What's her other fucking name? What's her name? Janelle Monet. Had her titties out. Motherfucker talking about Casey. Bitch, them is nipples, bitch. I don't know why you don't know what nipples look like then, bitch. Them is nipples. Um, and it was like, and I posted, I was responding with, somebody was like, she gonna get a page to go like, nah, cause Meta said it's cool as long as she's non-binary, which she has, you know, said before she identifies non-binary. And so some chick gonna get on there and she deleted her comment before I got to see it. But I saw she said some shit like, are you doing this? Are you saying this to be hateful? Bitch, what part was being hateful and me fucking just telling you a fact? Bitches really be reading into shit. Bitch, I just said, the policy said if she non-binary, she can have her nipples out. Where did you read hate into that motherfucking comment? You the one spewing hate, you old insecure ass, booky ass bitch. God damn. Let somebody suck on them nipples and calm the fuck down. Shit. The fuck? Bitch, if you they won't suck on them, then you squeeze and twist them motherfuckers yourself. What's wrong with these hoes? Why? Like y'all really be upset about everything. Bitch, it's not that deep. I don't give a fuck. That's why I said, like shit. Bitch, I'll be non-binary too then. Why I'm hating? Like, how I'm going to hate on the thing that I said I'm, I am? Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm non-binary. Like, can I show this coochie? Let me know when that... when that. Uh, nah, I wouldn't be showing that shit for free, though. Janelle Monae fucking up. Like, where is your only Because them niggas be thirsty in there. They really wanted to see that shit. But, yeah, that was crazy. Um, And then what else? It was something else I wanted to... Uh, uh, I don't know. That was it, really. You know, like, you know, bitches is bitches, niggas is niggas. Y'all can get into the relationship. But we on a positive note. Like, we can do you, bitch. Um, so, yeah, DR was lit. Oh, yeah, it was just funny, though, how, how many motherfuckers was like, be careful out there. Like, da, 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 da. bitch, I walked around by myself. I ended up making a wrong turn when I went to the motherfucking. So, everybody had left me because I was sick and I was in the bed and they all went to the beach and shit. Like, not everybody left me, but most of them. And so I was like, fuck, well, I guess I got to go by myself because it was about to close and it was about last night there in Las Arenas and I wanted to buy like a full swimsuit because I talked to some shit that we passed and I wanted to get my daughter like a um, souvenir from there. And so I said, fuck you, like, let me go because this place is going to close. And so I was walking around and then I made like a wrong turn and I ended up like in niggas' neighborhood, like, you know what I'm saying, like behind, behind the crib and shit. And motherfuckers was giving me the eye, but bitch, I'm from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, que lo que? Like, shoot the fuck, I got my cuchillo también. Like, que quiere hacer? What the fuck? Que, que, como ta? Como ta tu? What the fuck? Que tu quiere? Okay? Que lo que? No hay problema aquí. Si quiere, pero no hay problema. Pero no hay problema aquí. Okay? The fuck? I ain't never scared, bitch. Nunca. Nunca tengo miedo. Nunca. Okay? So, I don't know what the fuck niggas was warning me about. Like, they must not know I'm crazy. Nigga, I, I'm going to survive everywhere, bitch. Ain't nothing taking me out of this, bitch. Period, bitch. I'm going to be 110 in this hole, bitch. Nigga, all that shit needs to be scared of me, ho. You feel me? Fine and hydrate, bitch. But, yeah, so that was it. Like, I don't really have nothing else to talk about. It was some other little controversial shit that was going on. But I didn't pay attention to the news. I don't pay attention to you, nigga. Um, Oh, there was like a um like a little debate going on about like um like being old and feeling old. And so we're gonna end on this. Like, um some girls on the trip was like, Well, I don't know. Because it was a lot of different age groups. So it was some women, like I'm about to be forty. It was a few women older than me. Uh it was a few women younger than me. And so um, I think I was kind of like, not the median age, but like a little bit older than the median age. Cause it was a lot of younger girls. 
Um, and then a couple of them, a couple of them had uh, responded to one of the older women who said something about, "No, nah, girl, when your body feels a certain age, you can't do this, you can't do that." And one of the girls was very passionately like, "No, nah, when you start thinking like that, then that's when you start aging." And I agree with both of them. Like, it's certain shit you just don't do because you're older. Like, you just know better. You want you more efficient. You know what I'm saying? You're more wise not to do certain things. But it is like a point where you kind of talk yourself out of doing things that you probably could or should be doing because of you thinking you're older. Um, like, there's going to be physical limitations to your body, but you don't always have to adhere to them or um, acquiesce to them. You know what I'm saying? If you, I feel like if you, don't, if you move it, you, if you don't move it, you lose it. Move it, lose it. So, like, if you start telling yourself that I can't do these things, then you won't do them because mentally it's going to go before the physical. Um, and then, so that's why I'm like, I'm trying to dance, I'm trying to travel, I'm trying to stay as young as I can possibly stay. My son sent me a link to, um, a study where they reverse age, like, they gave, like, the Benjamin Button syndrome to, like, some mice. So, like, the shit's possible. There's plenty of, like, metaphysical, um, practices and plenty of medical journals and shit they have already, like, uh, established that, you know, your every cell in your body can regenerate. Every cell in your body can tell itself to go back to like its original standard. Um, you know, oxidation and all that shit is just dust and rust. You know what I'm saying? On a very pure thing. You know what I'm saying? All of this shit is like the the building blocks that were already there in the beginning. So it's very possible that we can become younger. But do you want to live forever? I don't think I want to live forever. Like, I'll be tired of y'all after, like, another 40 years. Like, I'll be like, no, I'm not here. Like, 40, 50 years, I can't imagine living. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be in this bitch 200 years old. Like, I'll be sick of it. I really will. Like, you know, take Jennifer, serenity now. Serenity now. I'm Just take me to the motherfucker up one because I can't. I came with you niggas in 2000 motherfucking um, 98. You know what I mean? I just can't see it. I just can't see it. So, um, yeah, so with that being said, you know, do y'all want to live forever? Answer me in the comments. Uh, let me know. Do y'all believe that y'all can reverse aging? Do you think that it's possible that in the next 40 years, people could be, you know, 50 trying to go back to being 20 and shit? Um, like I said, there's a study, I, if I remember, I linked that shit um, that, you know, says that it's, they figured out it's possible. They just got to figure out, you know, exactly the mechanics of it, the, you know, the chemistry behind it and what they got to do to be able to make this safe uh, for people to consume in the future. But they still work on it. But they, they've done it in mice. So we know it's pop. Um, so let me know how y'all feel about that. Would y'all would y'all take some shit that made y'all younger? How much younger would you want to be? Like, would you want to stop at a certain age? I definitely wouldn't want to be no younger than 30. I would say... 25 at the youngest, but I don't even want to do that. Like, I wouldn't want to be no younger than 30. And then it's like, do you mentally go back, or is it just physically? Like, do you unlearn the shit you learn? You know what I'm saying? So that's a lot of shit in there, but I would not want to lose the wisdom. But if I could, I'd probably go back to, like, 30 um, and then do that. But then I'll be done. Like, I'll be like, okay, take me now at 50. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was at 50 and went back to 30 and did that shit for another 20 years, like, still, I would technically only live to, like, 70 or 80 because I would be done. Like, no, I don't want to be here that long, you know, so especially if mentally I was accumulating all of that shit. So that's the thing. It could get real fucking weird and deep um, philosophically trying to figure that out. But anyway, this was an episode of Chilling Dreams. My scene is I made it through it. I have a sore throat. I've been coughing. I did this shit for y'all, even though I need to be saving my voice for a show. Um, so I hope y'all appreciate that. <laughs> And I hope the audio comes out right because this shit been fucking up. But um, it's been real. I love y'all. Take care. Um, and, you know, live your life, baby. Because you, you only got this one as far as you know. You might got some other ones coming. But you never know what the conditions going to be. So, like, live this one because you already here and you know what the fuck it is. Did y'all see my nails? Yeah, that's it. These pictures are going to be gone by the time. Because uh, I got to play some guitar. You know what I mean? I got to get back to my guitar lessons with Randy. Shout out to Randy. I ain't forgot about you. Um, so I can shred. You know what I'm saying? I got to get the, get the shredding on you hoes. All right. Well, I'm back in Chicago with this dreary winter weather. And uh, it was fun. 
um Dominic, the dominican republic was real it was lit y'all definitely need to go um and just take an open mind and don't be worried about the bullshit you know what i'm saying if you want hot water then go stay at one of them hotels but if you want that discount and you want that family vibe and that cool vibe you might have to boil some hot fucking water on the stove you know what i'm saying um but yeah you don't have to wait on no friends you ain't gotta wait on nobody else to go with you find a guided tour find a group that's already going like i did um or just go by your fucking self and like pay somebody you know what i'm saying a, or a, um a trip planner you know what i'm saying to plan that shit for you so you know the best places the safest places or whatever to go take your money down there and do what the fuck you gotta do like don't be waiting on nobody else to go experience life get your passport and get the fuck on you know what i mean all right y'all peace hydrated and fine Shout out to Khalees for her beautiful shirt and her skincare um, and uh, <laughs> impromptu eardrops. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Yeah.